and welcome to the seventh game of this limited Sabat Chronicle, A Bit of Ultraviolence. As a warning, this is an adult game dealing with dark and potentially triggering subject matter. If something feels like it's too much for you, feel free to take a break, skip a scene, come back later, or whatever's best for you. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and meet our cast once more, beginning with Ellie. Hi everyone, I am Ellie Collins, and I will be playing Christina, the La Sombra. And Zach. Hi, I'm Zach Rivado, playing Dante Edmonds, the Zemissi. And Andrew. I am Andrew Strother, playing Ezra, the Ventru. And Sam. Hi, I'm Samantha McLarty, playing Wright, the Malkavian. And we have two special guests for tonight, so let's start off with uh, Dustin. Hello, I'm Dustin Fletcher, and I'm playing Terry Magnuson, the Scourge. And Ian. I'm Ian E. Muller, and I'm playing Nikolai Vasiliev, the Sheriff. And I am your storyteller for this evening, Lex. So let's get started. When we left our pack last week, some of our members had gone their various ways. Ezra had been reunited after his blood stupor, but Christina had gone her separate way for the time being. The trio found the Keeper of Elysium in his houseboat, slash just short of mega yacht, and dispatched him with an ungainly ease. Dante took this victim, succumbing to wild frenzy and filling his veins with blood that felt a lot less Toreador than it had been presented. Meanwhile, Christina had a run-in of her own in the form of Zand, the Malkavian primogen. Alone without her pack, the pair had a conversation that was perhaps a little more cordial than some would expect. Now, both parts of the pack have received their summoning text from Larkin. It's time, he said. The prince is at the Candlewick Hotel. Christina, you had just gotten back in your car and you had texted Ezra to drop a pin on their current location. So we're gonna pick up with our trio. Uh, you all have just gotten back in your car. We'll say that you've left the parking lot so that you are safely away from this situation. And Ezra, you get a text message from Christina. Oh, okay. Okay, so now she's, yeah, good timing. Great fucking timing. She, uh, I mean, can you believe this? And I, I hold it up to right towards the right oh okay so that so, no, no no you gotta you you kind of gotta look at it a little differently here you can't just like think that she is like i don't know what it is that's in your crazy venture head but like you know the, it's it's not like she's just now wanting to come back this is this is her way of like you know hey i've blown off some steam i'm totally chill now let's reconnect Think of it that way. Think of it as like, you know, you don't want to pull up in there with that, that fuck you attitude that you got going on right now. Cause it's like literally like 10 minutes ago you were, where's Christina? I miss Christina. Literally 10 minutes ago, we were watching him suck blood out of somebody's fucking thighs. 20 so like... minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, either way, not long ago, you were all, where's Christina? I miss we'll Christina. We'll call it around an hour. Right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, however you want to read the situation, that's fine by me. But look, uh, the, can, can you? You're gonna I blow it, are you? Town, uh, Dante, You're totally you, gonna blow it. He's gonna blow it, Dante. He's gonna roll up in there, this thing, doing right? this, this whole like thing. I'm still pissed off and super macho ventru person, and she's just gonna like blow right past you because here, obviously, she's this wanting, light she's has texting been green you for 15 minutes now. We could, I, we, we could we could drive and talk. That could be a thing. I am driving our talk. <laughs> yes, yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> I, I like to assume Wright, with her hands on the wheel, has also forgotten she's driving. Oh, absolutely. Oh, shit. You're right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. And I'm going to hit the scan button again. <laughs> and here we go. I just said there was like a pin dropped on the phone, right, to her location. Uh, no, Christina texted you asking you to drop a pin to yours. Oh, me, me a drop pin. Uh, I just reply, K. And then I wait a second. Is that a K with a period or just a K? Just a K. Okay. Just wait a second, wait a second. And then I drop a pen. And then a few minutes later, because we're driving, I drop another pen. 
And then I just kind of keep doing that to see if it pisses her off. Like, <laughs> as we're driving. So, Christina, you are driving, and you get this this very surly K, and followed by a pin roughly every 90 seconds. And people think that I'm the stupid girl. Anyway. Pins in a straight line. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm going to follow them. All right. Uh, so you guys can feel free to have a discussion as you go, but it probably doesn't take you long to kind of meet up along the way, um, headed towards the Candlewick Hotel, which uh, none of you really know where that is. So you have to Google it or something. I'm driving. I'm not Googling shit. <laughs> I'm pulling it up on my phone while I'm trying to convince Wright that Edward's not going to blow it. Go, no, they've got a bit of an enemies to lovers thing going on. Okay. I think it's their thing. <laughs> No, I, I I get that, and I'm just gonna say like, all right, Ezra, just keep something in mind, all right? Like, l- listen, if you blow it with Christina, you're gonna be stuck with me and Dante. Okay. Only for the next few hours. Yeah, it's solid motivation. But here's the real thing: as Dante points out, the night will come to an end. This is a temporary arrangement. But do you want right. it to be temporary, or do you Ooh. want something beyond tonight? That's the question you have to answer for yourself. Every night, fuck ups from every other clan. There's kind of bigger shit we could be doing, you know. That's not what I'm talking about, and you know it. I oh, no, no, wait, no. He said there's there's bigger shit that we could be doing, and you know what we're currently doing. So that implies that he's totally intending on like us still sticking together after tonight. The max right? more like insane motion. and less like a literal thing, but okay, sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's what I'm intending. That's that's a plan, definitely. It's so nice you to have a plan for change. Never said I did it. Never said I did. Did you find Dante? This... Did you find the place? Did you find the uh, the the hotel, the hostel, the the hot pocket? Where are we going? Did I story tell her? Is it easy enough to Google? <laughs> well, you didn't find a hot pocket, but yes, you did find okay. the Candlewick Hotel on Google. Um, it is a bit of a ways away. It's definitely the furthest location you will have had to have gone this evening. Well, it looks like the prince wants to be uh, a bit out of the city limits, but we'll get there in no time. All right, Ezra, you should probably text Christina and let her know that this is probably going to be a trap. Larkin's probably setting us up, of course. We're now at the end of the like the night. This is like last. Like, yeah, totally. This I would is hope where that she has assumed house. all of that. She doesn't even know where we're going or that we got the text from Larkin. Unless oh, she okay. got the text from Larkin. That's fair. I don't know if she did or not. Maybe. Anyway, I, I I send like the destination, and just like prob trap, question mark. Send. I'll reply obvi. I just reply lol. <laughs> oh, tell her I love her. She's fantastic. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not typing that. I'm not fucking typing that. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? This is this is this, this is the weirdest fucking night I've had. I'm gonna reply with uh, peach emoji, tongue emoji, middle finger emoji. I don't. She sent cartoons. I don't know what this. Oh, what's she send? What's she send? I just like toss the phone to right. Are we at the hotel? Can I get out of the car and just kind of like? <gasps> <laughs> you are not at the hotel yet. You're not at the hotel. I'm stuck in this car. You are I stuck have to in swear this car. So I don't hit something. Oh shit. I immediately yeah, actually, throwing right, her can, the phone. Yeah. Can you make me a drive check to catch this phone whilst driving? Shit. <laughs> Please. This is not oh, a good no. roll for me. <laughs> Why did you guys make me drive? It's bad. Why did you guys make me drive? She said volunteering to drive. Because I'm the only one that has a dot and drive. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> you got one? All right. Yeah. Um, so he throws you the phone and you catch the phone and as you catch the phone you're looking at it you kind of do that like drift thing and you go up on the curve and or on the curb and very quickly kind of right your car again <laughs> right your car <laughs> I'm just like oh I know it just you don't know what that means like seriously you, like okay you don't know what that means it's a peach darling it's a peach and yeah, there's the a peaches tongue. are fucking gross like 
They got like a hard thing in the middle and they're like freaking like fuzzy on the outside. Like who the fuck made that fruit? Like it was a You're mistake. not familiar with the Peaches song, are you? I, I am literally both Andrew and Ezra are not familiar with this, this reference. <laughs> Oh, honey. <laughs> do you want to? I'm just gonna look at Dante. Just like, do you want to tell him? Surely, do you want to tell him? <laughs> I, I think you'll figure it out with Christina eventually. Is Dante familiar with the Peach song? No, but he's not Bound going to admit it. <laughs> oh my God, Ezra, Peach, Pussy, Peach, Pussy. Is that music? <laughs> Is that fucking music that you're singing right now? That no, that's what the peach is! Like, the eggplant is a dick! The peach is a pussy! This is what... Why? Because it's fuzzy, I guess! I don't know! I... Everything about tonight... I'm just regretting all right, every all right, all right, all right. moment. Christina doesn't know why, but she feels like a sense of dread. So, Ezra, stay with me here, okay? You got the peach. We know what the peach means now. You got a tongue. I Surely right, you please. understand that. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm following, following the reference. The, and I'm, then the middle finger. You do know what the, you know what that means, right? Yeah, yeah. that kind of that kind of means right, like everything together, came baby. before put it is together. thrown out. I mean, dear God, can we drive? I am. Not but put it though. together. I'm just be open with you. I'm very uncomfortable with everything that's happening. Not because I'm I'm uncomfortable, but because the reality of this conversation is so offline with the amount what? of killing that we still have left to do. What if I brought up any other topic but this one? Would you? We're yeah. going to we're going to supposedly walk into either a trap or straight to the prince's location. Do we want any sort of subterfuge with this? Has that worked up until now? On and oh. off. No, not really. How, when does it work? Like, seriously, when does it work? Yeah, no, every, every time I'm we do, they're like, we know you're a Sabat. I'm like, yeah, it's fucking convenient for you. Well, yes, it's, it's but like you see... It's like you're Zoom chat or something. Well, yes, but you see, I, you see, we just we just did leave the Keeper's boat, and I and I hold up the Keeper's, like, belongings that I've taken. Yeah, and I'm in possession of, of all of these, so if we were wanting a... Maybe a false hostage situation. Ooh, did, did you get wait, their, wait. Did you get their phone, too? Yeah, I did. that was good. Check the phone! That actually, you know what, that's been the only fucking thing that's worked for us, is you uh, texting from Paris' phone. So, you might actually be onto something here. Yeah. I'll, I'll flip open the phone. I imagine. I, I know I see uh, the text that the Keeper sent telling people that might be in for a rough night. Mm -hmm. uh, but anything else of interest or note? Uh, no, it's very uh, movie convenient, how everyone seems to delete their text history every time mm. they send one. Noted. Okay, so just the one that I expected. Just go. Uh, not much here, but the last thing that they told everybody was that they were expecting trouble, so it wouldn't be out of the question for them to show up with said trouble. Might be a little confusing, but could still work. I think a little confusion is really all we need, because we only need a minute, right? And then that, yeah, absolutely. That, that's pretty fair. Right. Oh, oh, my favorite right. song! And it's just static. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that oh. checks. What's the static mean? Is the static like a fucking? Shh. Never mind. I don't want to know what the static means. It's zen. It's a it's metaphor. It's calm. It I'm just gonna rub the uh, the little like brooch that I took off of the keeper, and succeed on my Raz check. And sitting behind them in the back seat is now the keeper of Elysium. Okay. Dante's voice will still like come out of the of it because it's one or the other. Is it? Well. We'll see how this goes. I like that one better than Pierre. That's understandable. Uh, so it's it's about this time that your cars uh, would sort of meet up together is where you've been continuing to send pins just kind of as you're going. And you have that great Fast and the Furious moment where your cars, you know, come up next to each other and you can look over at each other. Christina just sees right, just like going off while like, like, seriously? Peaches! <laughs> Swerving over here and then getting back in my. <laughs> She's doing her best to ignore that. <laughs> uh, so, Christina, the, uh, the person in the passenger seat is like, Are you gonna get back in the car with them? I mean, I guess I have to. 
I... <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I gotta finish tonight, at least. I lean over in front of Wright and I hit the horn on the car, like, like that annoying <laughs> dad, like in soccer practice, like, come on, what are you doing? Hey, no, no backseat drivers, like, I'm stop the it. Front seat. What do you want from me? Oh, that's okay. No side seat drivers, stop it. You're distracting and me. And the person in the backseat of your car, Christina, is like, are you sure? It's certainly not appealing, apparently, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I, I won't be able to live with myself if I don't finish the night, and I kind of don't give a fuck what the permission said to me. I am still going through with what I think about Ezra, so. Okay, you know best. I don't, but we're gonna pretend I do. So, Christina, I assume you, you know, pull off to the side, find a shadowy alley to leave your car in. Yeah. And you guys see her pull off, and it's it's pretty clear what's happening, and uh, Christina gets out of the car that she's been sitting in completely alone this whole time. And... Checks out. Yeah. That's what I saw. Yep. It was just Christina alone in her car. And she gets out and comes over towards you. Hey, uh, right. Um, could you could you do me a big favor? Could you help Dante? Look, I want to make. Can you check to make sure that he has everything? Could you could you not drive? Could you be the the person who doesn't drive presently? Not that you're not great at it, and not that I don't love how you do it, but uh, could Dante needs help in the back seat? If you could be the one to help him. You know, Ezra, you could just say, "Hey, I don't want you to drive. You drive like a maniac," and I totally get it because I do. No problem. Christina's a be much rude. better driver. Eh, it's a fine line between lying is rude and lying is actually a good thing. It kind of depends on the lie, I guess. But no problem. And I'm just going to get out and get in the back seat with Dante. And she's like, how's the floor mats coming? I'm just going to step on them a little bit. Oh, I haven't focused on that in a bit. I've been too distracted. Oh, <sighs> fair. Hey, do you wanna you wanna be the the, the the driver? Do you wanna now that you're back from your thing that you did that I'm sure you will not fill us in on? Do you wanna come be the person who gets us from point A to point B? You actually want me to drive? Let's just say I have evaluated alternative <laughs> uh, options for your position, and we have found that promoting from within is gonna be the best option. Um, and he uh, hates that's, my driving. That, in, that in a stands. short in a short way, yeah, I fucking hate You're venturing you this would... up, Ezra. Okay, I will drive. I take that as a compliment. <sighs> and I will get in the driver's seat. All right, and I will take a drive check from you yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Dex and drive, right? Because I don't yes, have please. drive. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh no, that's that's. That's hunger dice only. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yep, perfect good. choice, one guys. Success. What's <laughs> one success? All right. Um, so the driving doesn't get better per se. It just gets as bad in a different way. Feels better though. It's about how it feels. <laughs> It feels more comfortable. It's been this degree of Familiar. bad since you guys got together earlier this evening. Although it feels like it's been like seven weeks you've spent doing this or something. It has been forever. Yeah, when she gets in and starts driving, I was kind of like reaching, you know, just kind of like reach over and like turn the turn the volume on the static up and just kind of like, you know, I'm just like looking out the window. Oh, it's Christina, they are static. listening to static. It's shifting yeah. from static to music, from sta to mute to static to music to static. Like it's just going through. It's sc on scan all the channels. Yep, that all feels right, considering yep. she was driving. Yeah. 
so at some point it hits on like the sex pistols or something i probably like stop the radio and just like let it sit there um yeah so you guys find something that's a little more palatable definitely gives you that kind of like we're definitely not about to have a really big fight <laughs> on our hands vibes it's it's good for a little bit um the drive to the address you had takes not a short amount of time. You're driving for like a good solid 20 minutes. Um, you don't quite leave the city limits, but you're definitely getting close to it. You start leaving the close packed houses and you start going past golf courses and country clubs, bars have disappeared, business centers have disappeared that ever-present vibe that the wrong side of the town is just over there is gone. Anyone who lives here has not been on the wrong side of town. You Arguably, have this is the wrong side of town. Arguably, wherever you guys are is the wrong side of town now. Uh, this is clearly old money country, and despite everything else, not one of you fit in here. Not even Ezra, despite his brand name clothes and his expensive watch. Ezra's money is this generation money, and the money of this location has seen a lot of generations. <laughs> Old money. Old money. <laughs> uh, but you do eventually pull up outside of at least the address. I'll lean up between the two of them. Oh, the Keeper of Elysium will lean up between the two of them and go, this place feels very pompous. Yeah. Yeah, you get that shiny on the outside, but like fucking crumbling on the inside vibes from it a little bit. It's like a quarter or a nickel dime, you know, got the nice silvery sheen on the outside. But underneath, it's just copper. That was like really a... fucking profound. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm actually going to be thinking yeah. about that for several nights. Yeah, I'm gonna remember that one. Yeah. So we go, so, I mean, uh, Dante, you, all right, here's a plan. Here's a plan, we got a plan. We got a fucking plan, right? Uh, oh, Dante, you do that now. We do We're experimenting. Things, things have changed. Uh, things have changed for all of us, it looks like. But uh, yeah, things have changed here a little bit. That's we plan supposed to mean. now. I love your, your look now. It's fantastic. Yeah, I like pink. I had some extra clothes in my um, car. The, the, eye, the eye? Is that makeup? It's very glam rock. I dig it's, it. It's like a color pop pink palette that I have. You're a little um, light on the pink. Look, yeah, we, yeah. I, 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 I hate to interrupt. Look, look, no, 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 like, no, come here. No, come here, come here. I, I used a makeup uh, sealer. No, 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 come here. Come here, I need to see. Like, how, like... Is it like an onyx color that you got going on here? Is it like a charcoal -y or ebony? It's gotta be ebony. No, no, it's gotta it's be It's maquillage right? eyeliner around the rim, and then I have a little wing stamp for the side here. You have a few uh, wings. It's some more... On more, all sides. Did it it's smudge? It's a lot of wings. Oh, uh, we've done a lot. It probably smudged. Smudged isn't the word I'd use. It looks constructed really well. As Multiply. fascinating as this conversation is, we literally stopped outside the fucking house. So if we could either keep yeah, moving or make go. a decision. Like, do, hey, do you two remember what what the keeper sounded like? I was a little preoccupied. It was sort of a lighter voice. Pretentious. Uh, well, yes, but we can... Full of themselves. Uh, I'm thinking dead. more tonal. Very dead. Mm. Uh, <laughs> a little on fire. Briefly. Very much so in frantic bargain mode a lot. So you're going a bit too metaphysical. I'm like, is it a lighter voice? Is it a deeper lighter voice? Lighter voice, a little bit higher. Was uh, a a little more of a oh, like I'm talking up here, almost in okay. a nasal oh, okay. voice a little bit. Breathy, you know? very breathy. Breathy, a little okay. breathy. Yeah. Okay. And Dante will attempt to imitate Asthmatic, it based on the description. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Maybe a little less breathy, more nasally. I think. I'm sure I can make it work. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a yeah. I'd say workshop it, but uh, fucking Dawn is coming, so uh, we're limited on time. You yeah. want to send some some Are texts we before we before we go in? 
Yeah, what, this what's is a the prince, plan? Right, with, with the prince? You said well, you had I a told plan. You the plan. We do have a plan. It's a great plan. It's a beautiful plan. When you hear the plan, you're going to love the plan. Right, I, when like, I tell people the plan, they all tell me that's a great plan. Uh-huh. Everybody loves this plan. I'm just behind Ezra like, I don't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of like, trying to like put, no, we got, a, we got a great plan. Dante <laughs> is going to impersonate as you see uh, the, 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 the whole thing he has going on. He's got the phone so he can send the text that's going to cause confusion. Then we go in, you probably do some shadowy things. Uh, it all gets very uncomfortable. And then uh, somebody sucks up, you know, some life essence or death essence, if you will, and we, uh, we roll on. Alternately, I figured that this could look a bit more like a hostage situation if we wanted to maybe uh, prevent immediate attack. Wait. They're going to okay. attack immediately either way. I get this really big feeling that, like, the Keeper was not exactly high up on the list, so... I Enough feel so like to text was, everybody. I feel like he was, like, you know, sacrificial or... Oh, what's the word? Expendable. I don't know. I think Maybe in the grand scheme of things, but all the primogen did come before him on the list. So, I mean, what, you're thinking like a Star Wars situation? Like, we're going to slap some fucking, like, cuffs on you and, like, walk behind you and uh, be like, oh, no, we caught this person here where they shouldn't be, and now we're bringing them here where we should not be bringing them. Like, what's the what's the play? I was, I was thinking we, more gun to the head, but, you know. Wait, wait, you wait can, what are we going to ask for, though? Because, like, we can't just be like, hey, we'll give you your keeper back if we get the prince, because I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure the prince is going to be way more, you know, protected than the... They, they're not going to give a shit about the keeper when it comes to the prince, so... Get vague and or flavorful with demands. Or we can just do what we always do, and that's talk about a plan for a half hour, walk in there, plan goes tits up, and it becomes a fight. See, I like what... I, I, I like Christine's plan. <laughs> <laughs> We've already been class. talking for 15 <laughs> minutes, so why don't we expedite it because Dawn's approaching. So let's just go in and get in trouble. Sounds great. I, I can run ahead. I mean, I, I, at least, I at least like the idea of Dante shooting a little little text, like uh, some sort of demand or something, get him a little riled up, give this implication that... Uh, Dante, what if... Okay, Christine, I know you hate planning. I'm sorry, but I had a great plan. It's almost as good as the other one, but it's better. Dante, what if you <laughs> were captured, but you got away? And this is where you fucking ran, right? So maybe you go in first with the face and the stuff just long enough for Christina to sneak in from behind and right to make somebody lose their mind. I've already sent the text message. Oh, yep. And I hold up the phone and it's it's a text to everybody that the previous text message was sent to and it just says fuck, 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 fuck over and over again. Okay, okay. I thought we were workshopping, but we're uh, we're live. I like the plan. Curtains up. Okay. All right. Uh, so who's going in? Uh, Dante, you're going in first? At, at, at as high speed as I can, yes. Okay, and just for the record, before anything else goes down, when you say you're imitating uh, the Keeper's voice, are you just personally, like, performance imitating it, or are you doing some oogly stuff? Uh, no, the Trophy Hunter, uh, trophy hunter, I can directly impersonate either the voice or the appearance, so I've impersonated the appearance. Uh, I actually, I will do a little, I will do a little bit of vicissitude just to, like, mess with the vocal cords to make it sound a little lighter and maybe a bit, maybe a bit strained. Uh, I don't get hungrier. And that's four successes. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust the vocal cords. And it's gonna sound like I'm gonna have it sound like harsh, like it's been like it's been messed up or hit a few times, but also lighter. I'm not gonna yeah. nail the keeper's voice, but I'm going to make it as close as I can. No. Um, so for the the three of you who who met the keeper, this sounds like a pretty solid imitation. It likely wouldn't fool someone who knows him personally, but it's not bad. <laughs> Um, Actually, with, with one of those, uh, with one of those dots, since I don't need all four dots to mess with, to mess with my vocal cords, I'm going to uh, rub and fabricate bruising across the throat. Okay, so yeah, you do that, and that's not a problem to fabricate. Um, so the Candlewick Hotel itself is set a little ways back from the road. Uh, this doesn't look like the Grand Hotel uh, the way you might expect. 
Uh, it looks a little smaller, more like a bed and breakfast. This is the kind of place that you would think would hold uh, more like honeymoons than anything else. It's got that kind of romantic, uh, set away kind of vibe to it. Uh, there is a large hedge that goes all the way around the property as far as you can tell. Uh, there is one main big driveway up. It's one of the round ones that you can go all the way through. Uh, there's also like a personal gate a little ways down that you can pass through the hedges. Okay, <clears throat> so... Uh, is, are we gonna like chase Dante inside or one of us do that or... It might look how... the most believable. Uh... I'll chase you, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so as I'm you guys are having this conversation, thing. sorry, uh, Dante, you get a text message back. Okay. Uh, it's from the it's from the prince as far as, you know, this phone says. It's listed as a uh, uh, princey with a little heart next to it. Huh? Uh, it says, uh, this text channel is compromised, others may be as well. Format your phones, destroy them, and cease all contact. We will reach out to you. Sincerely, Aiden. I, I look at the phone, I just sort of... I just put the phone on, like, on the center console so they can all see it. It probably fuzzes a little bit being closer to, to Christina. Just go, all right, well, no more of that. That served its Shocker. purpose. Shocker. Huh? They at, least think, they at least know that maybe there's some difficulties going on. So, yeah, we'll have to... We'll have to fake a chase then. Sounds sounds good. Why not? I'm gonna go I need my some way. Exercise, anyways. That makes <sighs> that makes sense to me. Christina, you want to do your usual? Go around the outside, do a little sneaky grab. Yes. Okay. Excellent. What are you gonna do? That's that what, honestly, that's what we were missing last time. Uh, here's what I typically do: I watch the chaos and I try and step in and curb it when I can. So I'm gonna go with the watch the chaos like it part. Did last time. Well, at that point, there was no stepping in needed. I just watched the chaos. That's yep. true. Well, well, if if one per, if one of these is chasing me, they'll wonder where the other ones are. So, uh, we'll have to make it look realistic. So, uh, sorry in advance. I apologize too if I bite you. No hard feelings. I might just no, like, you know. no, completely understandable. I I meant a bit more like this, and I'm going to like quick sock Ezra. <laughs> And then throw the passenger door open, like hit the ground, scramble, and start booking it towards the hotel as, oh, as messy as possible. We don't I, bleed. There was literally no need for that. <laughs> and I'm just going to get out of the car and start scrambling after. You motherfucker. What do you think you're... Oh, no, you're not getting away from me. I am way too hungry for this shit, and I'm just running after. Yeah. Uh, so, Dante, are you running up the main entryway like to the front doors of this hotel kind I'm, of thing? I'm, I'm attempting to simulate somebody who is just running for their fucking life and not like focused on you know stealth or whatnot because I do look like a member of the court right now so I'm hoping mm. that it might work in my favor it's a gamble okay and, and Christina sorry what did you say uh cr given that Dante has those like horrific claw shit on his finger I imagine Ezra got a cut uh at least from the uh, punch. So Christina is just going to as as absolutely slick as owl shit as she can do this, uh, kiss the cut on his cheek and book it out of the car and into the shadows. That happens. Why am I here? Why? What the fuck did I do in my own life that brought me here? <laughs> did I, there's nothing I did. Fucking Jesus. God. I just kind of like start keep muttering under my breath and like I, I get out and what I would like to do is is tail right and Dante as like hidden as I can you know kind of maybe pulling those shadows around me like I've done previously um, mm -hmm. to, to stay unobserved as possible but but move behind them okay so uh, you two so Dante's leading the chase up to the front doors ish right you are hot on his heels Ezra, you are hanging back from all of that. Christina, you're taking the sneaky routes. Uh, going around to the back of the building, looking for uh, open window, maybe, or like a um, 
like a fire ladder. Okay. So there's nothing open necessarily, um, but the inside of this building does appear to be quite, uh, quite warm, quite welcoming. There's lights on in every room. You can see the movement of people inside. Uh, it's not what you would call teeming with life, but it's definitely not empty. Is there a now, staircase notable? Just to like not kind of how really. like kind of how some hotels have those like side doors like over near a pool that also goes to a staircase. Yeah, yeah, you would find something okay. like that. Um, okay. But before all of that happens, mm -hmm. uh, Dante, as you are running up to this front front porch, or this front uh, entryway, a porch is a horrible thing to call the kind of opulence you're running up on, a pair of figures step out in front of this front door. I'm going to continue running and look like, and I'm, I can't quite see who they are, but I'm going to give the best expression of, oh, thank God on my face as I'm continuing the very sloppy scramble, looking back at right as I run. As he does that, I'm going to just stop and I'm going to use, um, irresistible voice to, uh, and pretend compel uh, to just tell him to stop okay as if i'm actually trying to do something okay but you're not actually <laughs> layering anything into this all right uh so terry and nikolai you see what appears to be the keeper of elysium racing towards the front doors of the prince's private haven with uh who you know to be one of these pack members hot on his heels you see her attempt to make him stop. Dante, are you going to stop? Uh, I'm going to stumble, but I'm going to continue going forward. You two see this. And Wright's going to do it. She's going to... I said... Stop. I'm going to... I'm going to make myself trip and fall and sit for a bit. And then just, I'm like, and then just like start like clawing forward, doing doing very much doing the fighting fighting with all of my willpower against this motion. Storyteller, I'm going to yes. Oh, go ahead, sorry. Do I need to roll to see if I can tell that that is not the keeper? It's not uh, obvious yet. I, I physically have the form. Of oh, them. I know. Okay, I know. I'm aware. Uh. You could roll to try to see it, but what you do know for a fact is that the uh, keeper put up the red alarm in his mm -hmm. uh, his yacht. And does the behavior of this person match with what I know about the keeper? You've certainly never seen the keeper behave like this. You've certainly also never seen the keeper per pursued by the Sabat member. So. People do weird things when their lives are in danger, but you have never seen Mr. Beck look anything less than flouncy. Mr. Magnuson, would you detain these two? Of course, I guess. And uh, he'll just walk forward and uh, walk up to who he believes, I guess, is the keeper. Kind of just look down. Because you said you fell down. Yeah, uh, at the second stop, I fell, and now I'm just sort of like, I'm sort of scrambling. So by the time I get to you, I'm going to look up and just, again, false relief and like trying to like scramble behind you. It, very much like a cower behind the legs look. Red's gonna yell back the fuck off. That one's mine. I'm gonna look out as I kind of like put a hand on K 
Keeper Dante. <laughs> and I'm going to see if I see a frog. You do. <laughs> oh, shit. In fact, you see quite a number of frogs coming up out of these hedges. Mm. All of the ones that have been doing your work for this evening. And I'm going to activate Feral Whispers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is this truly him? He lies! He lies! He lies! That's what I thought. And I'm gonna attempt to rip his throat out. Alrighty. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. We could have talked. We could have talked. <laughs> could have talked. Y'all didn't kill enough frogs to be allowed to talk. Could have talked. Could have orgied. Lots of stuff. I did my <laughs> best. I did my best to kill those frogs, damn it. You did, and we're so proud of you, but you failed. Yep. All right. <laughs> uh, so I believe that is going to be uh, Dex and Brawl. Do I have the opportunity to step in? Do you want to let this not play out? Qu- not quite yet, because of course you can't hear the frogs trading you guys out. <laughs> good, good so until this actual fight happens one way or the other, it kind of still looks like this like uh, this person is protecting Keeper Dante. Oh, uh, you said Dex and Brawl? Uh, yes. Do I roll anything to avoid a swipe at me, or is this completely unexpected? Uh, I'm gonna see how well he does, because if it's not a great roll, then you'll sort of see it coming. Okay. Actually, why don't you give me a, a Dex in Athletics to avoid this, just just in case. We'll see what happens. Sure. Uh, that one is cut. Uh, five successes with a crit, so six total. Okay. Uh, four on my end. Four? All right. So, you don't see this coming? but you do see the frogs approaching and doesn't take much to kind of put together how this is about to go bad because you have seen the frogs following you all evening as well. So uh, Terry, how exactly do you want to go about ripping his throat out? No, I think it's more, no, I think it's more along the line. So uh, I have uh, feral weapons activated, which is Mm -hmm. my fingers elongated and sharpened. And I'm like, kind of holding Dante Keeper back a bit, like kind of like this. And as I look to the frogs, I move up, grab by the throat, and throw at right. Kind Perfect. of up by the throat. Perfect. So, right, you were facing them. You did not see these frogs come forward. Plus, the, the sound of this ribbiting has been hounding you all night. There is nothing new about this. What is new is the sight of Dante suddenly getting hurled bodily towards you. Or I should say the Keeper being hurled bodily towards you. A question before I go flying through the air. Yes. Do I have a chance to reflect, to reactionary activate something? Um, probably. Like, what are you looking to activate? Obdurate. My fortitude. To prevent uh, myself from being thrown through the air. Uh, I would say probably not, since this did take you by surprise. Okay. Um, yeah, but it doesn't do you any, like, real, real harm. Okay. Um, uh, since it is very much a brawl attack, you get thrown through the air and uh, wall up into right and the two of you kind of a tangle in together. I'll let out a, a garbled yelp as I hit and go rolling. Attempting to roll away from right, but rolling. Uh, now, Ezra, that you are going to see. Can I Can I step out of the shadows where I'm standing? Yes, you can. Um, so I'm just gonna step out and be like, hey, you fucking dog, look right here. Are we dominating with that, or just general threat? If I can catch his eyes, yeah. He'll look right at you. 
That's and, never and, a good sign. <laughs> and yeah, the uh, the the goal is is a dominate with some with some goodies on the back end. With <laughs> some goodies on the back end. All right. Uh, is that just a compel? Because it's just uh, the simple. Yeah, this initial one. Yeah. Well, the, the the intent was to catch the eye and then um, and then give some directive, but uh. Okay, no worries. So the yeah. the look right here, and he looks right at you, and then what is it you are looking to do? Uh, does he have any? He's got those like elongated claws, right? Yeah. yeah and his like, eyes are very much wolf like. I'm gonna be like, why don't you f claw those fucking eyes out? Now, that, I believe, is still a compel with your terminal decree on it. Yeah, so that is yeah, going to yeah. be a charisma and dominate versus intel plus resolve plus anything else you have that helps avoid dominate. Right. That sounded like way too many dice. <laughs> <laughs> Storyteller. I'm still standing in the shadows in the entryway, correct? Okay. That is correct. You have not yet stepped forward. Okay, so I have seen Ezra step out, but they just see someone standing there. That is correct. You have seen Ezra out. Ezra just knows that there's a second shadowy figure. Perfect. All right. How did we do on our rolls, gentlemen? So five. Five? Five? In successes. Ten? Mm-hmm. So you issue this command with, with all all the big dick energy you have gotten used to waving around for Hell this yeah. evening. And this person just looks right the fuck back at you. Mm. Oh, pretty boy. I think I'll take your eyes instead. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I, you're very cold. And the ice is just it's all around you and you can't move and you're so cold and you're frozen and I am gonna use chemistry and make him think that he is stuck in a block of ice mm, right that's gonna be chemistry from you mm-hmm that is going to be your Manip plus Obfuscate versus your Composure Wits. Mm critical Ten crit much math hopefully not enough dice uh 12 with a crit motherfucker oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> um so right you you issue this you issue forth your your chemistry and even from this ungainly pile on the ground like you know how to do this and once again this wild figure just doesn't give a fuck. Now, Christina, you're around back of this building. You're looking around for a back door. You're like, oh, there's a balcony up there. Maybe if I just... And then you hear what can only be described as the sound of two 
two people slamming into each other and skidding across a driveway. Yeah, I'm gonna run around, uh, but still staying as hidden as I can uh, to run up on this situation as it's like, I I thought the trouble would happen when we got in the building. Not before. (laughs) Silly. Uh, I am quickly going to check where is Ezra. Uh, so you come, come, Beckett, shut up. (laughs) He's just behind me growling, I'm sorry. Uh, you come racing around the side of this building, uh, still sticking to your shadows. This is very familiar for you. Um, and you come upon this tableau playing out right here. Uh, Dante and Wright are tangled on the ground together. Ezra's come out of the shadows and is standing there looking at this wild figure. He is not dangerously close to Terry yet, but it's very clear that he's this close to too close. And is Terry currently preoccupied with the other two? Uh, That depends on you, Terry. This woman did just obviously try to do something to you. Are you keeping your eyes on Ezra or are you turning to look at her and uh, keep her? Or note when I hit uh, when you said I hit her, I just started I started rolling away from right, so I'm not okay. on there. So Dante is uh, Dante Keeper is attempting to at least move away. Oh, I'm the closest to Terry right now. Fantastic. I think that, oh, I think that Terry will give a slight like look back over his shoulder mm-hmm. and just kind of nod as he looks over to right and just says the only thing cold i've got is about to be your dead heart in my hands and he's gonna charge right the second that he moves i am using arms of aramin to yeet ezra away and into the shadows with me okay ezra in this this moment of what's almost panic because you were facing off against this person and now you're suddenly being yeeted from the side and this a few hours ago this might have been a very frightening experience but since then you have become friend to the shadows and not just friend to the shadows but you and christina have entwined your shadows earlier at dante's haven so you are familiar with the sensation of her particular brand of shadow play that's a new term (laughs) is that what the kids are calling it nowadays um storyteller yes while this is happening i would actually like to just from where i'm standing a voice cuts across everything else everyone hears and i just say mr cohen Everyone hears this. It does not matter what you are preoccupied with. Everyone hears this. And and like that happens as I'm being pulled or like mm-hmm. like as I'm being yanked. Yeah. So Christina, I probably like like land near you in whatever whatever way you pull me, and like yeah. that voice comes through, and you just immediately hear just like a guttural like, <laughs> like coming from me, and like canines are bared, and like you haven't seen me not composed like but just like and like like my eyes are like turned towards uh towards the source of of the voice ezra what the fuck was that and on that note i turn around and walk inside the hotel it's not your fucking problem that's my fucking problem i just like stand up and i kind of like shove like almost the shadows off me i start walking like away ezra towards the I just keep walking. I'm following him. All right. So it's a scooch early, but I think that's where we're going to take our break for this evening. (laughs) So we'll see you all back here in about five minutes for what's definitely about to be a pleasant discussion between friends. (laughs)
Welcome back. We are going to rejoin our pack that is, I believe, just about to split up, which is, as we all know, the smart way to handle fights. Um, so Ezra, you are wa walking back towards the hotel, walking towards the front doors uh, to follow Nikolai. Christina, you are following behind him. Uh, as you're walking past, you see Terry has launched himself towards Wright and Dante. Just gonna continue on to the hotel? Yeah, it's just, it's just like a side, like, I mean, it's happening fast, right? Like, I'm walking, oh, yeah. like, like, launching over, like, in my head, I'm like, Wright's probably fine if she's not. <sighs> and But I'm, I'm focused back in and just keep walking. That You don't get that. That's just the internal monologue, you know? <laughs> totally. Yeah, you, Christina she can teach is him the so peach rude. Song. Christina is very uh, concerned <laughs> by this reaction of Ezra's, so she doesn't even notice. She's just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> so you guys head through the doors. Uh, Nikolai, I'm assuming you just kind of left this front door open as an invitation. Perfect. So you you walk in first, Ezra, with Christina hot on your heels into a very elegant lobby. It is uh, wood, gold gilt. It's not it's not austere the way the Ventrus place was. This place has a gleam to it that can only come from someone who has an eye for fine details and fine things. But this lobby is empty for now. Nikolai, what are you doing? I walk across the lobby um i'm assuming there's some sort of bar or um kind of an entryway to a restaurant since this is a nice hotel absolutely uh, i walk over towards that side kind of just away from the entrance to more towards the middle of the space and i sit down in one of the chairs my you fingers just us. tapping against the armrest that's more concerning Oh, you're, you're muted. muted, Ezra. That's what I see. I walk in and see him uh, sitting over there. Yeah, you, he's just kind of just sat if you down. Ran quickly. I don't move quickly. I take my time. So you may have even caught me before while I was mid sit. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, I imagine I like as I as I come through the door, you were like seating down, like taking your position. I uh, kind of thought the smell was a fucking gangrel, but uh. I guess I was wrong. Hmm. Have a seat. It has been a while. Yeah, no, I'm not much for seats uh, around around you, but I kind of like make my way over. I just kind of like lean back on the bar. Like, uh, what the fuck? Why do you even care about this place? Uh, I am unfortunately the sheriff of this city now. Did you get a fucking demotion? <laughs> Something like that, yes. You are you traveling know. with some new friends, I see. Yeah, you know, we can't always uh we can't always pick the people we uh we roll with, you know? Hmm. Uh for clarification, Christina, are you visible? Yes, I am standing directly beside Ezra, completely okay. confused and pissed. And at that, you also see me uh, at staring like just stone ice directly at Christina for a hot minute. Uh, and storyteller, I'm going to make a roll. What kind roll, of a roll? Uh, I believe like if, if it's okay, I'd like to roll a cult because Christina has some stuff going on and I think I know what it is. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, Roll for me. Would that be intelligence in a cult? Uh, yes, please. I'm in danger. <laughs> Christina made bad decisions. <laughs> While he's rolling, like, like I see... How unfortunate. I see it's Nikolai, fine. like, making that, that, like, eye contact or, like, that angry gaze. And I just kind of, like almost, you know, unconsciously kind of, like, shift myself in front of Christina slightly just to try and, like, break line of sight somewhat. That's eight yeah. with a crit. Eight with a crit? Mm-hmm. 
Christina, you aren't trying to hide anything right now, so... And you really kind of can't hide some things. Which she has no idea about. Which she has no idea about. So, yeah. What is it exactly you are seeing in Christina? Either one of you can feel free to answer. Uh... With uh, five dots and a cult and a history of dealing with using that to gain power, what would he glean from how you look? Uh, Gathering from it, uh, it probably looks like um, (laughs) an effect of oblivion uh, that... I guess probably a good equivalent would be um, old school consumption, Mm -hmm. like like the old uh, consumption disease, but oblivion. Okay, I can piece together what that means. Uh oh. You are definitely traveling. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. I said you're definitely traveling with a interesting group. I will say more so than the last. She is going to put, like, kind of sneaky since Ezra's standing in front of her now, but with the hand that can't be seen, put her hand on Ezra's back and just kind of, like, like, uh, grab onto his shirt a little bit nervously. You're working with people of, like, fucking frog fetishes. Like, I, you know, I don't think you're in a position to really judge people here. Like, well, like what, what, are you, what are you even doing here? Like, what is, what is this? Ezra, who the fuck is this? I'll fucking explain it. Don't worry. No, no, please. Please go ahead. I have time. You have time. You want to you, you tell her? You want to you you do this yourself? You want to make this a thing? We're doing this again? Again? Uh, again? Uh, Ezra was my intended childer many years ago. How long has it been? I don't know, you greedy bitch. You fucking tell me. (sighs) Anyway. Obviously, that didn't come to pass. So. Yeah, this is where we are now. And, uh. Unfortunately. We're uh, at. You have. Like, whatever the opposite of daddy issues are about Ezra. Oh, no, I'm simply... Uh, this is just coincidence. I didn't know, realize that you were here in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, yeah, we all believe that. That's sure, sure, totally. Oh, okay, okay. Speaking of, why are you here? Bro, I've been asking you the same, like, fucking question. Like, uh, I mean, all my cards are on the table. You know what I'm fucking doing here? You know why I'm here? You know literally why I am who I am. You should know why I'm here. Got a job to do. It's a fucking job. What do you want? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Look. And I pull out a piece of paper. I'm like, you're the job. Mm. You're part of the fucking job. Look at that. It's still doing other people's dirty work. You don't find that to be beneath you. You're a sheriff. The day, By definition, you do the prince's dirty work. That's because I have a debt to repay. It's gotta suck. We're, uh, you know, that's it's rough for you. We're not doing dirty work. We're doing Kane's work. No. What are you doing? What, you're trying to keep, like, do, are you vacuuming the floors at Elysium these days? I mean, like, what, what purpose do you have? Well, since you have managed to remove most of this city in a single evening uh not much left in fact i would go to what we do you want me to apologize no not at all i'm actually very curious to uh see how far you've come and he stands up and from next to the chair where he was sitting pulls kind of one of those long um 
cylindrical cases that you would carry like architectural bl- blueprints in or something like that. Is that like the Declaration of Independence? Are you fucking Nicolas Cage? What are you what are you doing here, man? And he doesn't reply, just unzips it and pulls As we're saying the word and I'll do long it. Longsword out. Arms of Araman fully out Sits behind her. down to Christina. And I will roll compel. What do I roll to resist that? I will tell you in one moment. So that is going to be... Um, sorry. Because I also have Unswayable Mind. Yep. Uh, intelligence plus Resolve. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. You add the you add the extra fortitude dots for unstable line, right? They're automatic success. Okay, cool. Yeah. So with the fortitude dot plus this. Oh. Yeah, I Thir- only got four. Thirteen with a crit. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so so I sit down, but uh, good thing for me, arms don't have brains to be compelled, so my arms are gonna stay in a defensive, not doing anything just yet, but kind of like, sort of peacock fanned out. Just I have these. <laughs> And I toss the sword through the air to Ezra. That was your fucking name. Yeah, I catch it. You know, these went out of style like 250 years ago. Kind of like you. Swing it back and forth. Uh, At least that gave me 300 years or so. He adjusts his suit and reaches behind the chair and pulls out a very elaborate um, basket hilt rapier. This will do. This is a serious fucking waste of time. I mean, do like just just to be clear, just so we're both on the same page. This is some serious self fellatio kind of shit. Like, but you you want you want okay you want you want that's fine. All right, that's fine. And I kind of like. Uh, kind of reach under under my vest and I, I pull uh, two pistols out from either side of me I just kind of drop them behind me kind of like you know shake off give myself a little room I'm like alright fine we're gonna, we, you want to do this let's do this <clears throat> and I just pulled it up kind of in a salute nod and that's embarrassing you're embarrassing yourself this is everything you do it's unnecessary just just and I'm just kind of like standing there kind of like bobbing the sword back and forth like very nonchalant so we're gonna pause on that scene as our two two fine gentlemen prepare themselves for a sword fight and hop back outside to our other fine gentlemen in mid and 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 right (laughs) our fine gentle lady sort of (laughs) Crap. I'm a classy broad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, so, Terry, you have begun your leap towards right. Uh, what is your intention here? Uh, Don't just say my... murder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my intention is to take her out. Okay. Jeez. Subdue her in some form, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Okay, um, are you going at her with the feral weapons? Or are you looking to? Yeah, I think I am attempting to grapple her in a 
means that we'll put her between me and Dante. Okay. We'll kind of get behind her and, you know, hand around the throat. Uh, that does make the most sense to you since you have seen the security tapes of what happened at El Dolore, and it was definitely Dante who tore through an entire dance floor of people. Uh, in the footage, Wright didn't seem to cause that much carnage, so she certainly seems like the safer bet. Uh, right. Uh, mm-hmm. Terry is coming towards you. <laughs> That's you! <laughs> Terry is uh, coming towards you. Are you going to... I'm going to use Daunt and try to evasive maneuver run <laughs> the opposite direction. Okay. So I'm going to activate right. Daunt, which I'm hoping will give me a little bit, and I'm going to run. All right. So let's see if your Daunt does you any good first and foremost. All right. Clearly a fair fight here is not going to work, so got to take things on a different level, you know? Right, so that is gonna be uh, uh, okay. So uh, in order to continue your attack against her, you're gonna need to pass a resolve plus composure roll. Okay. But yeah, either way, using Daunt and trying to run. So we'll see if he catches me or not. <laughs> Do I need to make a roll, like an intimidation roll or anything on that? Yes, remember. you are going to go ahead and add, uh, you're going to make me a, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I guess, let's call it a charisma plus intimidation, and Daunt just adds your presence to that. Can it be manipulation instead? <laughs> sure. Score. All right. I'm very strict with my rules here. I definitely can't be talked into stuff in a heartbeat. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Where am I at? And you said using add the presence die as well? Yes, uh, okay. so Dawn adds your presence to your intimidation rolls. Hmm. Would this be considered a social role? Yes, but I wouldn't say that, like, your stunning works here, since you're not seducing them, you're doing the exact opposite of that. Oh, fuck. Well, that If anything, sucks. this is an anti-social role. <sighs> All right. One, two, three, four. Eight critical? How'd we do? I got six critical. Ha! I finally beat you! Take that, Final. Terry! <laughs> yes, clearly we've won the fight. Let's move on from here. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, Terry, you are racing towards them. You have taken your leap towards right. You have your, your feral weapons extended for her. And she turns to you and she flashes what can really only be described as crazy eyes. And you were like, whoa. I think I will kind of like, as she kind of sidesteps and I like skid and slide, I look up and I activate Daunt. <gasps> it's a Daunt off. <laughs> That's cool. I'm running the opposite direction. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> All right, so. I just kind of watch her run for a bit. Get you soon. And I am right. I will get you. If I heard that, I would just... You know what? I just see right, like, hearing that and just... Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> just, I don't know, right? You know what that was? That was an awful rude <laughs> thing to say to you. He's done a lot of rude things, and I have plans, but I know that it's not gonna work like on these on his ground. No, I gotta make him come to like on my terms. Uh, can I actually get a willpower roll from you <laughs> to not have to immediately stop in your tracks and teach him the error of his ways? Like that Malkinian yeah. derangement. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fair. Mm -hmm. That's real fair. 
That's not a lot of willpower either. <laughs> I should have saved it a little longer. <laughs> you guys were burning it left, right, and center, and I was like, I don't know, there's eight episodes of this. <laughs> so I stop. Because <laughs> I got nothing. Stops dead in her tracks. And you two are just sort of having this, this daunt off, this moment of, you know when you see like a dog and a raccoon see each other and they both stop and there's just that moment where they're both kind of waiting to strike? Dante, you have been rolling away and we have now reached this moment. Yep, and I'll just, I'll stop. I'll stop rolling once I'm like out of, out of harm's way. Stand up, listen, like listening to this exchange, just shake it off back to normal. And I'm just going to call out to Terry. I think you'll find that she's right. Oh, how rude of me. The bitch can hear. Are you saying that looking to me or still to her? Oh, to her. Okay, I go. Uh, <sighs> You know, you should really look at people when you talk with them. I'm going to wave my hand, and I need him. T- I need you to roll either stamina plus composure or stamina plus fortitude. Okay. Uh, right, he just called you a bitch. I need another willpower roll. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I guess three critical. All right. Huh. Yeah. That's a good roll. That's a good roll. All right, so you're you're still in this moment. You're still enraged, but not quite over the edge just yet. Okay. Three successes. Three? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Let uh, me burn willpower for the fun of it. Yeah, just for fun. Uh, on Whispers to the Flesh, I got 13 critical. So with the margin, that's going to deal 10 non-halved superficial damage to Terry. And with the critical, it's going to inflict the broken limb crippling injury. So after the words, you really should look at people when they talk to you, Terry is going to feel from, from heel to shoulder rip as his leg is going to snap under the meat being pulled off of it. Uh, and uh, with toughness activated. Yes, I... that'll, that'll reduce that down from 10 to whatever. Mm-hmm. And you watch as his leg tears and he kind of spins a bit, but then you watch his body ripple as he gets stronger and faster as he just shudders. <sighs> As prowess from pain is activated. Now, I don't know if that undoes the critical win, in, inflicts a crippling injury or not. That's obviously a storyteller call. Injuries. Okay, nice. Then, yeah, so I dealt 10 minus whatever this wound up being. Yep. Uh, while he's not paying attention, I'm going to pull out the gun that I have. I haven't used this entire time, but it's on my sheet, so it sure is. <laughs> and I am just going to start popping caps, like just pop, 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 popping caps up in the. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's get a uh, Dex and firearms from you, please. Uh, I have this is why I put yes. dots and firearms. Uh, I am currently at strength and deck six. Yes. Uh, so you. Hmm? No, I'm sorry. Uh, so you are going to be rolling me a uh, dex and athletics to avoid these these shots. Got it. Fix critical. Fix critical to hit. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. No worries. Mm-hmm. 
I got seven with a crit. Seven with a crit. Yeah, I did burn a willpower. No worries. Oh. I don't have any failures to burn a willpower. <laughs> You're also running real low on that. We got one more episode to go, right? <laughs> so uh, as my rapid reflexes goes off as I kind of like tear a bit and then just get extremely faster as I just like bend and like almost like kind of matrix dodge a bit of the thing kind of get on all fours very animalistic like you as I just rude. look up at the two and smile I don't like rudeness it's not oh, I'm very well aware. I should ask you a question. Are you familiar with the sect wars? You're familiar with this, Terry. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with hearing tales of... a particular kindred that like to take trophies? in the form of ashes and send them as gifts to sires. You have in fact heard these rumors during the sect wars of the, uh, the white woman who would arrive, take no prisoners, take their ashes and send it back to their families. Hi. You talk too much, and I charge her. Oh, perfect. As soon as he starts charging, I'm pulling out the Ronin. Just pop. <laughs> so you're pulling out which? The Ronin. The ah, sword. yes. The sword. All right. So we're going to pause the combat right there <laughs> and head back inside to our other sword fight. <laughs> it's sure what it's starting to look like to Christina. Yeah, I'm keeping I'm keeping the arms at the ready because only I have to sit. They don't have to. Gentlemen, please. I noticed you gave yourself the fancier one. Like, uh... Are you like compensating for something here? Like you need the whole like like filigree and stuff that's not good enough for you? And I kinda hold up my blade. I toss my sword at your feet. And I say, then pick it up. Just kinda like look down. Genuinely actually like you actually catch like a, a moment of surprise. Like, what is he doing? Like like confused because like he you like Ezra knows you would never give up an edge literally and and so feeling a little confused and so just kind of like kicks it away takes a couple swings and then just kind of goes up how long has it been what was the last time we did this little dance less than a year ago feels like longer lots happened in a year have you missed me uh, in a weird way, no. Uh, and but you know what I have um, spent a little time some other places, and uh, and and as I'm kind of again just kind of casually swinging the blade around, I fish out from under my shirt uh, a necklace. Christina probably can't see it. Uh, my back's to her, so she, she can't see it. But you see like a large, uh, dark crimson vial in the middle with two smaller crimson vials to either side. And you would you would recognize this as a necklace that the uh, that Siegfried, mm -hmm. the Prince of Vancouver, I believe, mm -hmm. um, used to wear. And, and the rumors were that the vial in the middle was the blood of a Methuselah, um, some sort of ancient being, right? That he had he had held. Mm -hmm. uh, I said I got this off a friend of yours, uh, in fact, and I pop one off. I was like, this is him. Right here. Crazy ear, right? And uh, I just kind of look at it. Just kind of pop the top off and throw it back a little bit. It tastes good. And then I charge at you with my blade. I'm going to try and do just a swinging strike like right across your chest. 
I'm going to use Blink to move to the sword that you kicked away. Okay. Uh, so Ezra, having uh, having drunk this this one one blood point of, of a fallen enemy, uh, you will have an extra die to all melee rolls for the remainder of this scene. Nice. Christina is so confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so as soon as you charge, I just blink to the sword that you kicked away, so I'm not where I was. And I pick it up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and I turn around and I just like, like, same thing, charge back at you again, but this time um, you're going to see shadows, like, from my feet and my hands and, and even leaking from my eyes, like, rush down um, to the ground, to the ground. Mm. Uh, as I kind of spread a sagging shroud um, towards you and, and really kind of covering the whole area. Stygian shroud? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I believe I need to make a roll then. Yes. Mm-hmm. I will activate Oblivion Sight. Go ahead, make your rolls for that. Okay. So as uh, someone with Oblivion, Stygian Shroud doesn't affect me as bad, but I believe mm-hmm. I still need to... Uh, I think you're just required the Oblivion Sight to see through it. Correct, yeah. No, okay, yeah. so it's it's mortals who are... Uh, yeah, you don't get the uh, okay. oppressive yes. actions. So I just click on Oblivion Sight. And but this you, is definitely a, a shock to you, Nikolai. Mm-hmm. Oh, this yeah. was not something Ezra had last time you had your encounter. For sure. And you were attacking me as well? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Uh, assuming you don't blink away again. Mm, no. Like a was. Uh, I would try to parry, though. So would that be um, com- opposing um, Dex and melee or using strength? Uh, let's go with Dex and Melees from this point, because I don't think quite yet you two are sort of going for the throat. This still seems a little, like, sexy sword fight banter fighting. And I get hungrier because I'm going to Blood Surge. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. One sec. That's cool. That's cool. One sec, I gotta get all these dice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Christina the whole time is just like. Uh, <laughs> uh. Nine non critical. That's just 12 normal. crit. Nice. Oh! So thanks, exactly? thanks for that blood, that that little shot that I did. That was a crit. <laughs> Shots always help. Shots, uh, shot, shot, shot. Shot, shot. Uh, so, what kind of strike are you looking to to land here? Like the first rush I did before he blinked, like the intention was to do like some like dramatic car from like the face to the whatever. I'm just trying to hit him now, like. <laughs> okay. Like him, him, him. Like it's, I'm just looking for for physical contact, like the satisfaction of causing damage. Yeah. Okay. In between being surprised by you having oblivion, as well as uh, kind of expecting that again and seeing uh, more skill come from you, I probably just completely miss my parry. You do. Uh, Ezra comes in with uh, a strike that you expected to be, you know wide and wild and brash again but is not in fact and he cuts through you he slashes you kind of a, across the chest shoulder okay uh the difference in successes was four yeah, I um so, so i would take uh two mm-hmm halved and then negate that with fortitude so i don't actually take damage but i'm surprised Yes, and more than that, you are offended as he manages to draw a little bit of blood. I would probably be more impressed, I think. Choose your adjective. 
a little offended, little of, a little impressed. And I'll step, oh, I step away. And I'm like, you have gotten better. And then I'm going to attack him. Let's get those opposing uh, dex melee again, please. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Twelve crit. Seven crit. So how do you want to strike, Nikolai? I slice the necklace off. <gasps> That's got to be like an extra thing. Okay, like, look, I'm all down for, like, great narrative thing, but, like, come on. <laughs> There's a margin of five here. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, so he does slice... And the necklace does separate at its, uh, cause it's just a, a like rope type necklace. Yeah. It's like a leather uh, that, cord. Yeah. Yes. A leather cord, which does unfortunately not stand up to this sword blade. And there is a, an inappropriately loud echoing as this necklace falls to the marble floor. And we get that, that wonderful, you know, tink, 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 tink. And then I kind of glance down and I assume, I mean, you're close to me to make like that kind of strike. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to step in closer, like, like as his blade has kind of moved past me to like cut that I, and it's kind of past me somewhat. I want to step into like physically right up against his face. Mm-hmm. Like, so was, our arms are almost against each other. And I want to with my, with my off hand, cause I'm holding my blade like this. I want to pull my switch blade out of my pocket. I just want to jab it right up into, right up into like right up towards the heart, okay. or where the heart would be. I'm I'm into it. Let's get um. Now that's gonna be a, a dex dex melee from you again, uh, Nikolai. Are you going to move against this, or he is trying to do it by surprise? Well, I do know that the suit I'm wearing is made of have kevlar weave in it um plus with fortitude i don't think i personally don't think there's much he can do to me so no i wouldn't even move i would be surprised by the move but just take it we'll see what what happens all right let's see how we do i'm gonna go ahead and uh blood surge as well blood surge for everyone yeah um okay, so let's roll that. It's a lot to count. <laughs> it's, a lot. it's a good thing I hope. <laughs> uh eleven with two crits. Damn. I don't know how the, right. I don't know how the dozen is Kevlar. <laughs> We'll yeah, I too. <laughs> I too am I'm wondering how that holds up against your Kevlar suit. I don't know exactly how much armor or anything that gives you. Two. Two, and then your yeah. fort. And then stamina and fortitude, and I will activate. I will reflexively activate. Um. Uh, sorry. Uh, wait. So hold on. That's eleven damage halved. Mm-hmm. So it's. Five. Uh, subtract my fortitude from it. That that doesn't do any damage. I don't have to. Have it to does do anything. not. It doesn't so, do damage, but I would like to do one more thing if I can. In sure. the moment again of his surprise of, of different things I've done, because he blinked behind me when I initially ran, he's now between me and Christina. I want to shove yep. him towards her arms of Araman. Smart. It's like you're a pack with. T- Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, Just raise the rating of this stream. Uh, seeing him do that immediately, I'm going to try to. Uh, I'm going to grapple him with four of my six, keeping two for protection. Keeping two for yourself. Yeah. Um, but essentially, uh, two for each arm. 
to try and okay. wrench them behind him. Storyteller. Okay. Yes. With rapid reflexes, can I also activate Arms of Airmen? You son of a bitch. <laughs> you can. Would you like to uh, attempt to avoid her arms, or would you like to activate your arms? I'm going to use my arms to intercept hers. All right. Uh, Christina, go ahead and give me a uh, dex, and I guess that would be a brawl to grapple him with yours. Okay. This is so fucked up. It's like they knew we were coming. She, it's like you guys shouldn't have torn through two separate nightclubs. It's like you projected all of your actions throughout the entire evening. <laughs> See, we should have started at the top and worked like our way the down. I don't like the dramatic, like, <laughs> spinning that my dice just did before it <laughs> dropped. Uh, so that's three with a crit. And three with a crit. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikolai, let's get a uh, dex and... Are you looking to snare up her shadow arms or to just keep them off of you? Just keep, basically, uh, he shoved me backwards. Mm -hmm. Her arms surged forwards. My arms came up, stopped me from moving backwards, and then stopped hers. Okay. Almost like a uh, wall of, of that hers couldn't go through because shadow versus shadow. Okay. Uh, let's get a uh, Dex and Athletics from you to see how they do. Okay. Eight with a crit. Eight with a yep. crit. So uh, I saw that coming. Sorry. That is exactly what happens. Exactly what Nikolai was hoping. He <laughs> stops your arms, stops his movement. So and wait, he. Is... It, so is he grabbing the arms of Araman that went towards him? My arms created a wall. Because yours were just surging towards me to grapple me, mine created a wall that yours couldn't pass through. How wide is this wall? Not that wide. I actually need to roll to summon my arms, which I yeah. didn't do yet. So give me one second. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Yeah. I also forgot about that. That's fine. Whatever. I'm a good storyteller. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, hold on. I got to see what that dice pool is. Oh, okay. I totally, when Christina summoned hers, was just like, oh, I guess everyone gets shadow arms tonight for some right? reason. <laughs> yeah, totally. This rule's gonna count it's for fine. everyone. It's fine. It's one per arm. I think it's one per arm, or you can pool them together to make stronger arms. Yeah. Make one big arm. No. You could. You can make so one arm that's got like eight dice in it. Yeah, I uh, I form four out of eight. So okay. four that are twice as large and strong. <laughs> so that's your four on her four at the mm -hmm. moment. Yeah, but mine are twice as big, so it's a it's a wall. Yeah, it's it's a moderately sized wall, in fact. So with him doing this, and I can roll if I need to do this quickly, or I'm trying to do it quickly so I can roll to see how <laughs> oh, well I can accomplish that. Um, since I kept two, uh, I am going to snake one around the opposite direction to come up behind him and try to wrap around his throat. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's get another uh, dex brawl from that mm -hmm. to see if it succeeds. Uh, this is gonna be just three. Just three? Mm-hmm. So, your arms are currently involved. Do you have another plan to stop these other two arms? You are very much concentrated on Ezra as well. Yeah, nope. Uh, I believe I just get a resolve plus composure to pass through the shadow. Yeah. Uh, which I will try to do, but I think I mean I would I would take damage, but it was only it was three success. Yeah. 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 So I wouldn't actually take damage from it then. Uh, yeah, and I'll she just was do mainly, the... I believe, looking to just grapple you than anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, so uh, I'll yeah, just do the I'm resolve. I'm just trying to get around his throat. 
Also, I think the resolve composure is against her actual wits and oblivion role, not that dex roll. Because it's against passing through the arm itself as a physical entity. Doesn't specify. Uh, it's then the attacker, so it's the attack. <laughs> Eight. Eight. <laughs> so you you throw these last two arms into it, go for his throat. Oh, it's and just they... one. I'm keeping. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm it's just the one arm. One in the back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> one arm in the back pocket. One of your arms comes around this wall and attempts to go for his throat, and because it is just a shadow, it just sort of across his throat. We're gonna hop back outside to our other fight. Everyone is still Staged. sort of facing off. So we've got Terry charging at right and right pulling her sword. Mm-hmm. As he and charges, you had just as, as he charges, I'm I'm going I'm going to reach out and pull, and I'm going to attempt to just inflict more damage before he reaches right. I don't think I'll be able to stop him, but I just want to see how much I can weaken him in the process. Okay, are you doing another of your? Uh... I am. Yeah, so okay. it's another stamina plus composure or stamina plus fortitude from Terry. Yeah, and I'm essentially, as he's jumping, I'm pulling it, like, with him, like, are you, you're jumping at me, or are you running, like, at me? What are you? Uh, he is just, like, running straight towards you. Uh, in that case, I will, yeah, as you're coming to me, as soon as you get close enough, I'm just pulling it and doing forward, like, just shoving it. All right. So I'm trying, I know that you're good at the dodgy shit, <laughs> so I'm trying to wait until, like, the op like the last second to just, so that you don't have the opportunity to <laughs> try to avoid. See what this does first. Okay, uh, that's 11 crit on mine. And that is 10 crit on mine. Okay, so with your fortitude and stuff, it's actually not gonna do any damage, but some flesh is gonna pull off and your prowess thing's gonna kick in with, uh, actually, actually no, I don't even know if prowess from payment kicking because you negated all the damage. Yep. Right. So it does yep. not, you oh. do not even feel Dante attempting this again. Nope. Uh, I noticed and that and I'm gonna be focusing like, on something for the next turn. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, and uh, he is, Terry just goes straight towards her, isn't going to dodge the sword at all, will actually <laughs> take it if, uh, like, straight in uh, the torso, wherever she's stabbing, uh, and is just going straight for her throat. All right, right. Uh, let's get a, uh, yeah, let's get a uh, damage roll from you. All right, and it's a melee? Yes, please. All right. I would like to also say, even though I know he's going through for the throat, as soon as he reaches me, I'm going to start to whisper. My whisper. My special whisper. All right, well, let's get your fight, right. and then we'll do our brain combat. Gotcha. And it is going to be a dex melee, yeah? Yes, please. Okay, cool. Alright, that is... Oh, and don't forget, I believe you also got one dot of potence from a recent Diablery, if I'm I remembering correctly. I do! I forgot about that. Thank you. Help you out where Ooh. I can. Hey! <laughs> so, uh, that is going to be a seven critical, then, on that one. Seven critical? Mm-hmm. How's your fort and stuff up against that? I'll take two. All right, so you do sink this knife directly into his chest as he yep. comes close. But that'll give me two stamina, which will bump my stamina to six, which will also boost my health back up, mm -hmm. which negates those two. And right, what are you looking to do now? You were... Uh, yeah, essentially as soon as I'm just going to start whispering and I'm just going to be like... 
You remember nothing. You know nothing. You have no idea why you're here. You remember my face. You like my face. You would never want to hurt me. You love me. You belong to me. I'm all you've ever known. And essentially, I am erasing and rewriting. Much like I did, uh... La Sombra Primogen's person. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna get two rouse checks from you first. Yep. Uh, and yeah, and I mean, like... Good. She can get out as much as she wants, but essentially I'm gonna grab her by the bottom of the mouth and rip her jaw off. Well, let's get our rolls off here to see if huh? you want to hurt that that pretty, pretty face you apparently might like so much. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get on your rouses? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Perfect. So then you are going to be giving me a resolve plus dominate versus a composure plus resolve. Uh, I will... Yeah, you have other stuff that you add in there as well. I'm also rousing blood uh, on this one. I get one. hungrier as I blood surge. a lot of dice going around tonight. This is like my best roll. <laughs> I'm gonna put in willpower. <laughs> what do we got, right? Hold on, I gotta count. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Alright, so... Burned willpower. I'm gonna burn a willpower. Just to reveal these ones right here. Ooh. Oh. Holy shit! Okay, so that is. Fifteen critical. Fifteen critical. Terry, how was our um, uh, composure resolve, etc.? Doing math. The real villain of a game. I was gonna say that's that's the actual arc we're fighting here. Is just <laughs> the most math. Yep. <clears throat> That's 13 with two crits. 13 with two crits. I got crits. three crits, baby, so... Yes, but as you may recall, <laughs> Tabula Rasa requires 10 successes. Yes. Which we are not meeting here with his. So you hear her whispering this stuff into your ear. And it suddenly makes so much sense how they got through all of those primogen and all of those locations and all of this security. And you were going to tear her lower jaw off? That is going to be... And I just... Shh. You talk too much. (laughs) And yeah. So, uh, strength brawl? Strength brawl, please. It's okay, Dante can put it back on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give her Pear's jaw, the one she hates <laughs> so much. No, make my back. Thank you. 
That is ten successes with a crit. Ten successes with a crit. Uh, and then it's unhalfable superficial. All right. Uh, right, I don't believe you have fortitude or anything Mm-mm. special there, do you? No, nah, nothing like that. Nope. I could, uh, the only thing that I have is the lore sheet at the moment. I could try to distract him or use, or essentially use the whispers as a distraction to to help with that. It is the lore sheet for the, the sect war. Um, your sect war's not, your trophies aren't going to help you yeah. here. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Unfortunately, he he understood your your lore sheet. He understood that you were the white woman from the past, and that just makes you a foe worth killing. I think I'll take a trophy. And he reaches up, and he grabs hold of your lower jaw, and an unhalfable. Do you roll stamina against that or anything? I don't know I, if I roll against I, it. Maybe. I don't know. No, she, don't can't so. she can't no, roll against it. I don't it. think so. I think it just sta- uh, superficial goes until it fills, and then we start looking at ag. Yeah. Yup. Yep. How yeah, are how we many's... doing right? It's ten. ten. Ten superficial? Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody do math for me. How many ag is that? <laughs> Uh, ten superficial would be if, if you had none, that would be five ag. Okay, I'm still yeah, like okay. No, if you had like no health. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still okay. I got still one. Still okay. Left. I got oh, one, one left. left. Yeah, yeah, one left. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so he reaches up and he takes hold of you, and <clears throat> you thought you knew rudeness, right? You thought you understood what it felt like to be slighted against. You had no fucking idea what it felt to be slighted against until this moment. And Dante, from the feet away that you are, you see this happen as Wright and her her silver tongue are ripped cleanly, or not so cleanly, off of her face. Wright, you are going to hit the ground here. Mm -hmm. Blood pouring out of you. Not out of your mouth, for truly it is no longer a mouth at this point, but just seeping out of the cavern that once was your lower face. I've been doing something for this whole round. Mm -hmm. I'd like to find, I'd like to act on that. Uh, I've, I've been rousing for prowess and horrid form. All right. So while, while they're, while they're fighting, talking, ripping, I'm just growing behind them. I'm maxing out my strength and stamina with the f- the four free that I have. And with Terry focused on this jaw rip, once he pulls the jaw out and she falls down, I want to soaring leap at his exposed back. Mm-hmm. And rousing flens, I want to attempt to latch onto him to start draining and just dig into him. All right. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get a uh, dex brawl from you to latch on here. Uh, uh, is it is it dex or is it strength? Because I'm going fracture like pain. Oh yeah, that'll be strength then. Okay. My bad. Am I rolling anything for dodging? Uh, yes. If you would like to dodge this, we'll get a dex athletics to dodge. Okay. Sounds good. I'm gonna burn willpower. Okay. That'll work. (laughs) I got six successes. Cool, thank you willpower. I went from five to 10 crit. So and you that, are going. And that that margin is going to include an additional two of, for the po- from the potents from prowess on damage. Okay. 
So you are latching onto him. Are you going fangs, claws? What is it exactly you'd like to dig into him here? All of the above. I just want, I want to like just dig in. So I'm latching around the neck to start trying to pull blood and digging fingers in. And uh, this is not, this is non-halved because of Flynn's superficial. Yes. So yes. F- four plus, t- so six non-halved superficial. Six plus non-halved your fort- superficial. Uh, with your fortitude and whatnot. Yep, so I'll take one. Okay, so one and I'm starting to start trying to pull blood, but also my fingers are in. Uh, and that'll yeah. pump my stamina to seven, which will give me another health. And so you just see m- almost like my body ripple and grow as well in size. Dustin, tell us more about how your body ripples. Oh, it just, it quivers. And <laughs> it, it pulses. Throbs? So- <laughs> oh, you know it. Uh, so we're, we're Only gonna, for we're you. Gonna- we're gonna leave our rippling, throbbing, pulsing beast with two backs outside for a moment here. <laughs> and hop back on over to our sword fight inside, which has just a little less rippling and pulsing going on at this moment. Sounds about right. Uh, with my arm failing, uh... I think I'm getting into Bane territory. Let me double check that. Or, sorry, not Bane. Uh, compulsion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm in compulsion now. Uh, which is the ruthlessness. Um, and how long does the compel to make me sit last? It's. I don't remember what the difference in uh, successes was, so it's probably ending. Yeah, we'll say it's elapsing about here, especially since, you know, this fight has been going on. A few rounds, yeah. Okay. Uh, The second that she can break out of the chair, out of sitting, it's kind of that, like, obvious she's been pushing against the compel, so that when it drops, she just rushes forward. Uh, kind of stumbling a little bit Um, and she's running straight to Nikolai non-threatening okay and uh, she's just gonna say if you'll stop right now I'll give you something you can't get anywhere else I promise you that I would like to make one last attack to disarm specifically i'm going to disarm ezra okay let's uh let's get contesting uh dex melees once more please <laughs> fucking morocco over here <laughs> <laughs> i love it, it adds drama to the role it, it really we should does. all be rolling in like yahtzee cups was that game sorry where you pushed a bubble and would like flip the yeah. dice? Yeah, trouble. 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 Trouble, 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 yeah. Popomatic trouble. Yeah. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Please don't demonetize us for using that. <laughs> no. <laughs> and remind me, willpower lets me reroll up to three? Only yeah. three. Okay, only three. I get a black dice. dice. I just spent yeah, some. Yeah, so. your fails. Yeah, yeah, my fails, yeah. Uh, yep, good, good spending that. Okay. Ten. Twelve. Yeah, it checks out. So how do you disarm him? Very basic flourish, I just hook. Hella basic. The, the hook the hill embarrassingly basic. and flick the sword out of his hand so that it s- flies away and sticks in the bar. And it it has that wonderful like hits the bar and stays there, kind of shaking from the yeah. movement still. Perfect. And then I literally just I put my the point of my sword against the ground. I'm listening. 
Can I show you something? Ezra, please trust me. Yes, but not here. It's it, I, I don't know, super duper out of the rules. Like, is there anything I can roll to figure out if I trust? Uh, you could do Christina with here. an insight. Yeah, let's get a, a wits and insight. I gotta figure out my own roles for what I'm about to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm assuming you're not lying to Ezra necessarily, no, so I don't need to get a manip roll from you. Okay. She's not okay, lying in so the just, slightest. Just a, a four. A four? Okay. You just see like what's the, the vibe? Yeah. You see the earnestness in, in Christina's eyes here. Whether or not you do trust her, you trust that she's telling you what she believes to be correct. And you just like like we're like our eyes are locked, and and he he disarmed like the sword. I still have my switchblade in my other hand, and yep. you just kind of see that disappear almost, um, like I kind of like fidget my hand by my side and then it's gone, as I kind of like continue holding eyes with you. And I say yes, but not here. And I glance over at Ezra. I toss the sword, and while it's still going through the air to you, I reach out, I touch Christina, and I'm going to use Shadow Step. Are you allowing this, Christina? Yeah. Okay. She Ezra, wants as you are, to protect Ezra. As you are standing there watching <laughs> this, you and Christina have locked eyes. You have hidden away your switchblade once more. Your enemy reaches out puts his hand on her shoulder and the two of them disappear into the shadows and you are alone in this lobby like as he does that like the blade is flying towards me I just like backhand it out of the air and I was like <laughs> and grab like the chair that she sat on just like hurl it across the room so it shatters against the wall would you like to just kind of rampage about this room for a bit destroying I, things in ideally anger? yeah brilliant that is what's going to happen. I don't need rolls or nothing for that. None of the furniture is contesting you. <laughs> and you are enraged. And there is nothing in this room that can stand up against that kind of force. Vases are shattered against walls. Chairs are smashed into splinters. Paintings are torn down. And outside, we rejoin our uh, quivering flesh. So, I have a question. I'm on the ground. Dante has Terry, correct? Mm hmm. Can I get up? Yeah. I would like to try to shove my sword through Terry's heart while he is kind of involved, let's say, with Dante. <laughs> Involved, all right. Involved is a good word. <laughs> all right, let's get a uh, dex melee to do so. All right. Yeah, at this, at this point, I'm going to try to torpor his ass. <laughs> is it possible with rapid reflexes to s move in a sense that the sword pierces Dante instead of me? <laughs> I'm dug into your back. So where you move, yeah. I move. Exactly. So I turn around. Um, I will take a uh, a Dex Athletics to try to, in some way, avoid this strike. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um. That's going to be seven critical. I'm sorry, eight. Eight critical. My bad. I miscount miscounted. I have a burn of willpower. I still have the really bad cough. <laughs> I mean... Oh, fuck it. 
I'll burn a willpower too, damn it. How many do you have left, girl? Like two <laughs> after this one. A That's whole it. two. A whole fucking two. <laughs> Gosh, I sure better keep that in mind when I stat the prince out. No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean uh, he's not stat out already? <laughs> yes, uh, my job is complete. <laughs> that's gonna be a 10 critical then. Oh. I got six success, all crits. All right. Not, not messy, because I had other blanks, but still. There's already enough mess going around. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but so there were four, four got through. But I soak it with toughness. Yeah. Uh, but she she sinks this blade into you because you can't dodge it. Uh, you are both now very, very close to him. Terry, is there anything you'd like to do at this point? He is going to... Kind of with Dante latched onto his back, he and right just kind of like thrust up into his torso, trying to pierce his heart. He just looks down at right and just smiles as he just bares his fangs and bites down onto her neck. Can I try to dodge that? <laughs> Sure can. Can I try to dodge that by punching him in the face? <laughs> so he like, so bites like, on your fist instead. And then just be like, fuck you. And just punch his face away from me. <laughs> you can. Because um, I feel like that would be an adequate response to somebody just like, ah, I'm just like, fuck you. All right. You can make me either a dex athletics or a dex brawl, whichever one is higher. I'm and going with brawl. Regardless, bra. your reaction can be to to try to knock him away from this ability. Yes, and I have specialty too. Eight critical. All right. Wait, wait, wait. I missed the dice. Hold on. Nine critical. And ten. <sighs> so I'm sorry. That is exactly what you try to do. You try to to smack him or punch him away from you, which really, even as you're doing it, doesn't make a lot of sense as a defense mechanism. It's right, but though. He, Nothing makes sense. <laughs> goodness, no. But even, <laughs> even the part of your brain is like, girl. <laughs> he does not get a hold of your neck, luckily. But he does sink his fangs into your arm. <laughs> Just gonna try to rip it away, like nah. Uh, if we're back Nothing to my nah. turn, that's, because if we're back to my talk. turn, that's been a full round of me drinking from Terry. That is correct. Mm. So at this point, it's looks at this point, if it's a bit of a race. <laughs> yeah. Uh, while I'm while I'm drinking, I am gonna I am gonna try I am gonna aim flens again just to keep inflicting damage. Please but I'm already in the I'm already like in the back, so I'm just gonna be like twisting to mm -hmm. like pull out chunks, pulling out chunks, tying organs in knots, you know. The usual. Let's do do do. It's gonna be. Uh... Where am I? There I am. 
uh, five successes. And I don't believe okay. there's a defense for that since he's currently in you. I soak it all. It does. Yeah. yeah. You soak it all, but I've, take, I've taken Storyteller to side X number of hunger at this point. <laughs> Out of you. Yeah. Let's, uh, uh, that would be uh, three blood points according to my, my die here. Okay. I frenzy. <laughs> okay. What would you like to do in your frenzy here? Um, I get more animalistic as my bane goes off. Um, but uh, I uh, will most likely tear into whatever's in front of me. And then that, what's on top of me. What is directly in front of you is still right. Mm -hmm. I have my arm, which I'm going to try to rip away. And, and he is just going get the to fuck away from you. attempt to drink. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to rip away while Dante is holding him here. I'm trying to rip the fuck away. And I'm trying to drink you first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... So we are starting to run on in the episode, so I will leave this up to you guys how you sort of would like to do this. I suspect we're coming down to our last few rolls of this combat here. Um, Terry, are you just going to keep drinking at her? Are you going to try to relatch your fangs to do additional damage? And, you do know uh, that you struck a good blow with that jaw thing. I, I at this point, I mean, but I am at hunger five. Mm -hmm. I am frenzied. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. think I have control of anything at this point except for feed. All right. Uh, and he is going to attempt to feed on whatever he can get the closest of, whether Dead. which I believe is right. With her arm in your mouth, most definitely. I'd say <laughs> so. All right, okay. right. I'm gonna get a uh, strength and. I'll go strength athletics, assuming you're now just trying to pull away and are yeah. no longer trying to punch away. That's fine. And I'm going to rouse on that as well. You guys are never gonna believe what I just fucking remembered. I'm terrible at this. Take a picture. <laughs> no, I remember I'm supposed to add fucking, and I, I'm supposed to add, I have a high blood potency, so I'm supposed to be adding dice. Hmm. That's just to your discipline. Your disciplines though. Yeah, and I yeah. haven't been doing that like at all. Oh. <laughs> oh well. I forgot it did. Sorry. But yeah. I just saw that on here. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, and that's going to be that and that. Okay, so uh, that is going to be eight critical on that one. What do you want me to roll? Right. So anything. it's eight critical. Uh, yes, let's get a, a strength brawl from you to keep hold of her. Uh, 10 with a crit. All right, so he does not let up on your arm right. And in fact, you are feeling yourself go awful faint. It's definitely starting to get dark around the edges for you. Mm-hmm. 
Between the damage you've taken and the blood you're losing now, you can feel the strength beginning to slip right out of your limbs as that call of torpor is reaching out for you. Uh, um, that's another round of me drinking at him and seeing him biting on and her struggling and not letting go. I don't know how, many, how much I drink, but I've roused and I've rolled for flesh crafting as my fingers are sunk into him. Okay. I'm attempting to solid block fill the mouth to stop the, the ability to drink. Okay. Just knit flesh together. So that's going to be his stamina and resolve against my roll. Oh, sure, I'll burn willpower. Just why not? I haven't burned much in this game. Eight with a crit. Fourteen with several crits. And I'd like to use the margin instead of like doing individual things. I want to dump it all into stitching the mouth shut faster. So that it's just throat to lips. Like to the See, point where it's starting to put the point where it's starting like to push the the arm out of the mouth. So you, you feel this odd sensation, Terry, and odd is perhaps a, a light word for this sensation of your own throat crawling up your own throat and into your mouth as the flesh all just starts to become one solid piece. That's How much did I drink out of him, Storyteller, with, with your dice roll? Uh, that is another uh, two, so that okay. is five. I don't know how I don't know how it functions uh, <laughs> at this point. I if think he's already, now it's a Diablo. It's, it's if he's already Diablo. at hundred five, I don't know how it functions at this point. But I'm just going to keep going until somebody tells me it's a Diablo. I think now it's the Diablo roll once you hit five. Uh, he did also take a blood from you during. Yeah, the so he, he, he so got he one back. Also, so yeah, there was a bit of a. <laughs> a bit of a loop here going on. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so Terry, you you can feel this as much as little blood as you got back from right. You are feeling it's not your strength that's failing you. It's your body that's trying to fail you as this thing on your back, this thing climbing inside you, this thing turning your own flesh against you is seeping your life out. But it definitely reacted to you hurting right. You know that. Um, I think in his, as he's like staggering, unable to get Dante off of him, as Dante is literally fused to him, um, he is just going to just reach up and is just going to do whatever he can to rend right in half. Right, so you you reach out to her, one one hand on the shoulder, one hand lower, just trying to tear her into pieces. Let's get a uh, strength brawl from you, please. And right, let's get what's probably going to be one of the most important rolls of your yeah. night. As you try to avoid this with a uh, dex athletics, please. All right. I'm going to do the thing here. And, uh -huh. Yes. Seven successes on my part. Seven critical. 
That is a tie with seven critical here. Was yours a critical as well, Terry? I did not have a critical. All right. So I believe tie goes to our defender here. So Terry tries to take hold of you, but between the sensation of his body turning on him and the, the weakness slowly creeping into his muscles, he really can't manage to get a solid hold on you, which is probably a good thing because it's only just now that his mouth seals over and forces the arm out. Unfortunately, that is about one second too late for you, right? As that darkness closes in over your eyes and you feel your limbs go stiff. Dante, you see right hit the floor, stiff and cold. Not ashing, just going cold? Just going cold. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. I, I, I can. I can. Sorry. I can hand. I'm about to be at a point where I can handle this after I finish this. So I am. I'm going for the diablery on this, to eliminate the threat and help right. So you are Terry. You are just about ready to turn on this creature that has latched itself to you. This this parasite on the city and on you but it's just all too much, all too quickly. Maybe if the sheriff had stuck around and done his job, this isn't how it would have gone. But you feel the life leech out of you, sucked out by this creature. But you, you know that you took out the white woman. The woman who took out so many Camarilla members during the sect wars. And that is a valid death for a warrior. As Terry begins to crumble to ash, still melded with you, Dante. Yes, uh, with your permission, Storyteller, I, I'd like to resolve the roles with Dustin via chat so that we can jump back to the others inside. But I'm staying on him pulling out until pulling everything out of him until he's gone and then i will be giving as much blood as i can to write to pull her out of torpor sounds but good i can handle dustin i can message you on these roles yeah we can handle that stuff sort of off camera we are going to jump back over to nikolai and christina where are you i have um shadow steps several times uh, and we are no longer even in the same zip code. We are in my haven, actually. Which would be a relatively nice penthouse somewhere downtown with considerable security. Uh, <laughs> hey... You said you had something to offer me. I'm gonna have to show you first, but that's gonna take some trust on your part. Cause you're not gonna like it. I've heard stories of what you are. Oh. Then I appreciate you doing this away from Ezra. Consider me interested. Okay. And I am going to reach up and touch your temple. And it will be my manipulation and insight versus your wits and composure. Okay. Five. 
so you will take one, uh, I believe, superficial willpower damage. Okay. As I probe into your mind for your worst fears, your guilt, the things that you regret and the things that you wish for no one else to ever know about you. And I begin to twist them, making them feel real, making the nightmares and the guilt and the shame deeper and deeper until you are nearly driven to hysterics. And then I'm going to let go. It takes a while because you don't find much. Mm -hmm. There is very little that he has done that he is ashamed of or doesn't want other people to know. You're finding a very callous, inhuman person inside this mind. But you do find a few things. Fear of failure and fear of being bested. And those will feel worse than they have ever felt for you before, before she lets go. Uh, Storyteller, I'd like to just make a um, composure resolve roll to not... Basically, the hysterics for him is stoicism. (laughs) (laughs) Please, go ahead. Uh, It's four, so... uh, he he holds it together ish but it's more of like a a quiet seething that's what i can give you the ability to do that all i will ask in return is that you leave Ezra alone for the rest of eternity. And if you break that promise, I will consume you whole. Answer a question. Fine. Who do you serve if not Cain? That's kind of a complicated answer, don't you think? I have nothing but time. I mean, do you mean my sire? Because I certainly don't serve him. Do you mean Azanael? Because that's complicated. If you mean the devil himself, then yeah. I have spent my entire existence seeking more power than any of your friends can imagine. And I have exhausted every resource at at my disposal, except for this. So yes, I agree. I will leave Ezra alone for all of eternity. I'm not making it out of this room, am I? Oh, you're free to go. And you see him reach into his jacket pocket and pull out a remote and just press a button on it and put it back. You're free to go. You won't be harmed. I make no promises that your friends, Mr. Edmonds and Miss Wright, will survive this night. Fine. I roll up my sleeve. Not for in my wrist. To give him the blood of the Angelus Atter. And I feed. I 
And uh, Christina, you, you feel this, and it's different than when you let Ezra feed on you. That was a moment of friendship. This is a sale, a bargain. And she hates every second of it. Nikolai, this blood is special. You can taste that with your kind of palate, with the uh, bouquets you've sampled over the years, let's say. It's not just a, a dark blood. It's not just La Sombra blood. This is something heavier than that, deeper than that, stronger than that. And I continue to feed until you pull away. I'll pull away after two and put myself up to hunger three. Yeah. That would and put me at one. The second that it's over, she runs out of there. And true to his word, no one stops you, no alarms go off, no security systems engage. And she's just unfamiliar with this area, but running and trying to get directions back to where everyone was and just doing her best to get back quickly. And after she leaves, he pulls the button the little remote and presses a different button and just says out loud Alexander yes pack sir the important things we are leaving yes sir our stay here is uh, come to a close <clears throat> I understand sir so we return to the Candlewick Hotel Dante holding a pile of ashes, right, cold on the ground. Ezra finishing his, not quite a frenzy, just a rampage of fury in this lobby. Everything has gone so well this night. Everything has gone so according to plan? Until now. And it really strikes you that everything else was just play. Everything else was just for show. And it is easy to forget the kind of power that the Camarilla can bring against you when they want to. Ezra, you stop in the center of this room surrounded by carnage. And it's the first time that you look up in a while in the top floor, up above, there's about 12 people standing there in matching black slacks, white shirts, black ties. And a young woman starts coming down the stairs towards you. And I'm like, my attention is split. Because in that moment, I've pulled out my phone and I've like scrolled through my contacts and I have Larkin pulled up on my phone. I kind of look up and see this. I see the woman and I stop. Just kind of holding, waiting to see what she might have to say. And she doesn't appear afraid as she walks up to you. But she, she approaches one careful step at a time, one carefully measured step at a time, before she opens a small pouch beside her and removes a white folded material 
and holds it out to you and says, Hot towel, sir? And that's where we're going to end for this evening. Thank you everyone for sticking with us through this episode. I know it was long. I hope it was worth it. Uh, so we are, <laughs> we are going to go ahead and do our outros for this evening, starting as always with Christina. Hi everyone. I have been playing Christina, the Bali La Sombra. Where can we find you? You can find, sorry, I'm still catching my breath <laughs> after all that. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Ellie underscore A underscore Collins or over on Gehenna Gaming doing all the stuff that I do or on ATL by night or by the time this airs in my new RPG Fear by the Fire that you can find online. So yeah, yay. Awesome. And Dante? Hi, I'm Zachary Vado. Uh, my Twitter handle's over here. There's probably links over that way. You can find me on ATL by night. You can find me on Adjacent by night. You can find me doing a variety of things at Gehenna Gaming, probably doing Virtual Horicon. You can find me on Vancouver by night hosting a game of Cult uh, that Lex and Sam will be in. Uh, this is far enough into the episode. I imagine we'll have announced it by this point. Oh, yeah. You you can yeah, find definitely. me on Twitter for everything I'm doing. You can find me wherever tabletop games are played. Right. And Ezra. My name is Andrew Strother. I've been Ezra the Venture. You can find me in my therapist's office dealing with all of the <laughs> stuff that we do in this game. Uh, I don't know, y'all. You can find me on my Twitter handle somewhere. You can check it out. I play in whatever games people let me play. Um... By the time you know, you know what I'm timelines are weird. By the time this airs, things will have been out. I'll have been in different games. I'll be in other things. Uh, thank you all for being here. It's super awesome to be in this group of performers. And our poor cold right. Hi everyone. I'm Smith McLarty, and I have been right. And you know what? To quote Tim Candles, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. My world is dark right now, but I'm still alive. <laughs> Best <game ever. laughs> right? Yeah. Um, I do lots of things and stuff. Games, shit like that. Like, if you ask me to play in your game, I'm likely going to say yes because I like to do that stuff. It's fun and I enjoy it. So, I don't know what I'm going to be doing by the time this airs, but if you will follow the links wherever they are, um, I always post about it uh, on my social media account so follow those and you'll see all the fun stuff that i'm going to be doing in the future and as i said a thousand times over i'm really bad at outros so next please <laughs> oh 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 and i totally knew you were fucking bali totally knew you were bali <laughs> oh i know totally knew you were bali <laughs> Had it pegged, man. <laughs> what was it? The fucking Lucifer tattoo that gave it away? I mean, was it the everything? Slightly. It was, was like it the, the everything, everything, a lot of her. the everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, and our first guest star for the evening, uh, Terry. Hello, I am uh, just dust in the wind, uh, but uh, <laughs> boo. <laughs> I'm, yeah, uh, I'm gonna kick your ass. Uh, That's you what know, you I get for it. killing, for trying to kill right. Did you not know? I am beloved. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> Dante <laughs> loves me. <laughs> Look, Dante's uh, I'm just like, a butcher. You, you it can pays find to me. be friends with the Zimitsi. <laughs> I'm Dustin Fletcher. You can find me on all the social medias at, at D4 Dustin F. I'm one of the co-DMs of D4. Uh, we are uh, on every Sunday. Um, and uh, we have, uh, you know, this lovely Ellie on our cast. And this is amazing. right. I, time is a weird concept. I just realized, <laughs> like, yeah, I already <laughs> have been on the show. I'm on D4, too. You are on D4. Uh, so, yeah, so you can catch us every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific. And twitch.tv slash d4rpg. Uh, d4, d4 at uh, DD RPG across all everything. All right, that's me. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Must be hard to be such a celebrity. 
hard. <laughs> and uh, last, we have our Sheriff Nikolai. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Left poor Terry to die. Oh, Expendable. So <laughs> um, <laughs> Ventru, baby, I like it. Mm, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> I am Ian E. Muller. I am the founder of Gehenna Gaming, where this show is airing. I want to thank Lex for inviting me. Actually, you invited me to play in this before we decided this was airing on Gehenna. So, yep. thank you. Uh, thank you for inviting me to play in this game. It has been wonderful. You are all fantastic. Uh, when this airs, we will have a ton of stuff going on in Gehenna Gaming. Uh, Like, <laughs> like I think our Mork board <laughs> game will still be going uh, on Fridays. Time is uh, weird. Uh, yeah, time is weird. I got to so think hard. about what that schedule is going to be. Uh, we'll have um, a bunch of stuff going on almost every night of the week, and we will be gearing up towards Virtual Horror Con next month. Yeah. Uh, on in July, so make sure that you go to virtualhorrorcon.com, get tickets if you haven't already, and look at the amazing schedules of actual plays and panels that we have lined up, uh, as well as some of the other events that we have going on, like Camp Gehenna and some of the cons we're going to be at later this year. I've been playing Nikolai Vasiliev, the sheriff, the very old and now Bali sheriff. No longer sheriff, I guess, actually. Uh, <laughs> back in the wind as he does. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and I have been Lex. Oh, shit, You're just, God damn it, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> hit the wrong button, my bad. Uh, I have been Lex, your storyteller. Um, you can find me in places. I do things. I'm in stuff. Uh, you can find me on all the social medias as a redhead vixen, uh, Twitch, Instagram, OnlyFans, all that good stuff. Um, thank you everyone for coming. Um, and I guess we will see you all next week for the finale of A Bit of Ultraviolence. We'll see you then. <laughs>